If you spend any time on social media within the last couple of months, you may have seen this guy. Michaeli hitting the metal 17 times successfully, getting a photograph of a motor car, and then being arrested for his newly rewarded property. But, I am happy. great guy, still being optimistic in his defeat. But who is this guy? And what on earth is the origin behind this video? Well, let's find out. So, this clip was first published by Adrian Gray Comedy as part of his video When Game Shows Go Too Far on the 5th of November 2023, which is absolutely hilarious by the way, and has since garnered a lot of attention through the original itself and also a shit ton of reposts. But where does it come from originally? So the footage of this bizarre video stems from the first episode of the iconic German live TV show Betten das, which is slightly original to You Bet, from February 14, 1981. Yes, you heard that right. This clip is over 40 years old and from German state television. Now, Michele's name isn't Michele, of course, but instead his real name is Matthias Heuel, who was a blacksmith from the small town of Attendorn in North Rhine-Westphalia. And I specifically said was, because unfortunately he's no longer with us, to give us his insights on his digital fame, because he passed away on October 12, 2018, reaching the impressive age of 85 years. So we know who Michele actually is, but why was he on TV in the first place? Well, the idea behind Wetten Das is that ordinary people bet that they can fulfill difficult or bizarre tasks, oftentimes combined with a very strict time limit. Just to give you an example of how crazy these bets were, here are two examples. A Chinese martial artist pushing a sedan with a spear whilst its tip was resting on his throat. Yes, this is real. Or someone jumping over moving cars driven by his own dad with spring-loaded boots. Yeah, this one didn't go so well. For every show there were about five contestants and at the end of the show viewers could decide via televoting which one of the contestants deserved to win the grand prize. So Matthias Heuer also took the chance to take part in the show. And as you can tell by my horrific accent, I am German and can actually understand what he planned to do. He claimed that he could create enough thermal energy by hitting a piece of iron to light the cigarette in under one minute. Well, he did it with over 50 hits and in 23 seconds, finishing third overall. Michele manages even more than 17 hits. <laughs> Very impressive. I want to note his stoic and deadpan demeanor for this rather happy show makes his interaction with host Frank Elsner even more unintentionally hilarious in its own way. And it gets even funnier when he's asked about what he keeps himself busy with. His reply? Orthopedic horseshoes. Yeah, not only Frank Elsner was astounded by this answer. Yeah, I don't know. But now you may ask yourself, how did he even come up with this idea? In his own words, the topic of energy conservation. He thought that he could make a contribution towards it by pounding freaking steel till annealing. He's got a good dry sense of humor, if you ask me. Now, here comes the bizarre part of this whole ordeal. There basically is a whole lore surrounding this completely made up character of Michele. I mean, just look at that. Michele, you successfully hit the metal 17 times, so you are now proud owner of this photograph of motorcar. I am not happy. I'm sorry? I am not happy with it. You don't want the photograph? No. I've hit metal 17 times every day. I want two pictures uh, of, of motorcar. Michele, you cannot just break your time loop. There is a way to escape, but you are yet to find it. And neither is your older self. Well, no. The original clip is so insignificant in the show's history, and yet firstly Adrian decided to take it and create one of the funniest and most creative memes I've come across in years, and now people take it and make it even more interesting, bizarre and hilarious. I'm absolutely serious, I'm blown away every single time when I watch another edit of this brilliant piece of internet history, especially in times when you get recommendations for either skibbity toilet gyat garbage or people getting fucking obliterated by semi-trucks on Instagram. Anyway, I hope this rather shallow deep dive could answer some of the questions you may have had. I never planned on posting anything on YouTube, but this has sparked my interest so much that I really wanted to share a little bit of information about it. So if you have any feedback, please let me know, because maybe I'll do a follow-up about the lore or some other interesting stuff that I stumbled upon. So for now, that's it. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I don't know.